everyone, Don here for Sportsman's Outdoor Superstore, and we have a wonderful pistol here for you. It is from Canik. Uh, some of the great pistols that they brought you from the Miami Day and Nights and a bunch of other ones. This is going to be the TTI Combat Review. I've been excited about this ever since I saw the release of it uh, with Taryn uh, showcasing it, and this is gonna be awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm a fanboy, sort of fan, a little bit but I, I love all the stuff that they do. So first off, we have a Terran Tactical message here with all the branding from it as well on the inserts. Uh, we have a special manual inside, which is nice to see, seeing as some manufacturers are going for a digital QR code version of it. Uh, they explicitly list out all the information that you're going to need, and we're gonna get into some of it as well uh, a little bit later. Some great little cards here uh, with illustrations on it to make sure it's nice and clear what you're supposed to do uh, for disassembly, uh, warnings, what you get in the box and everything that you don't. Kenick has always been fantastic manufacturer for some for stuff like that. So I'm gonna go over what's in the box real quick just so we can get that out of the way. Uh, so first off, we're gonna go with, because, uh, it comes with two magazines. So one is gonna be uh, 18 round, which is the standard. And then the other one's gonna be a uh, 18 round, but with a plus three extension on it from Terran Tactical. It's, they both have their aluminum bases on it. Now this is the extension for the 18 round magazines. And the other one is just a, uh, a standard aluminum plate on it. We have the little takedown tool for it as well that comes with the Canics. Uh, it's got all your set screws, your bits, and everything else that you're gonna need for your optic plates. And speaking of optic plates, you get all three that you can fit on this firearm. There's two that are uh, feel like they're plastic right down here that are molded. And then you have one that's like a machined aluminum uh, right up here. That's above the, uh, ex uh, the extra grip pads. So in the grip pads, it comes with three. So you can think small, medium, large, whatever is going to uh, fit your hand here. And there's a second section down below which has even more goodies so obviously we have our cleaning implements here then we have a punch out tool here um, and this is going to actually be for the compensator that's on the firearm and you can there's other uses for it too we have the custom molded Terran tactical uh, 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 labeled uh, holster that's designed for this firearm i'm going to show you how it fits in there it's awesome we have the uh, quick loader. We have a um, low weight uh, spring for you for competition loads in here. So you have so that's two two springs for this firearm, and then we have the challenge coin. And this thing is big. I really think they were trying to outdo Smith and Wesson with their challenge coins. Um, is it Smith and Wesson or Sig? I forget who's got the. They both have them. So. This challenge coin is freaking huge. I'm sure, pretty sure they're trying to be it on every other manufacturer that makes a challenge coin because this thing looks like one of those Carvana vending machine ones. It's that big, but it is beautiful. It's either, I don't know if it's molded or engraved, whatever it is, but it is uh, fantastic looking. Uh, it's really sharp here. And I'm just gonna, like they did in the uh, ads, if you saw it for it, just let's see if it is. Now I feel like I'm Inception, just gonna keep going. Awesome, we're not dreaming. So, put this back in here so it doesn't get too scratched up. Fantastic, that covers what's in the box here. Of course, you get this nice big heavy case and it looks like it's water resistant or waterproof. It's got the rubber gasket seal on the inside. I'm not gonna make any guarantees for the company. I do not speak for Canik uh, on their behalf but I would say that it's gonna be pretty safe for moisture and everything else. So let's get to the firearm itself. I'll lift this thing up. Thank you. Nice. All right, quick safety check just to make sure it is safe and we'll just lock it back here. So this is the TTI Combat from Canik teaming up with Terran Tactical. Uh, it's got the TTI bronze color across the slide here, as well as the as well as in the uh, flared magwell and in the different accent pieces for the firearm itself. It is optic cut up top here, and I'm going to list out all of them here in just a second. That way you can see, pause it, and read it for what you want to do. 
We have adjustable front and rear sights with the front sight being a fiber optic. We have the compensator, which is a quick detach system. And uh, if we have, um, which we'll show here in just a minute here for design purposes and not modification purposes. <laughs> I have to say that for YouTube. So for the barrel, it's spiral fluted, which is nice to cut down on the weight a little bit here. And then the slide is also has some, uh, uh, some cuts on the side here to reduce some weight. Then we have on the other side, we've got the Terran Tactical uh, and the Canik logo next to each other, which is super sharp. Uh, I love a lot of the things that Canik does. And this is one of the great partnerships. I think this is really gonna take off. Down below, we have the uh, accessory rail down here with a nice trigger guard. It is double cut. We have the nice finger cut up here, and we have the second undercut up front with some serrations in the front, which is very nice. The trigger is a flat trigger and it's textured. So your finger is not gonna fall off of this thing, or at least it shouldn't. Um, and then when it comes back, it's gonna break at 90 degrees. The slide release is ambidextrous, so you have one on each side. The magazine release, I believe, is uh, reversible. I won't call it ambidextrous, but it is reversible, so you can swap it out. Uh, the texturing on this is fairly aggressive uh, compared to maybe some other manufacturers like Taurus Smith, uh, say all those guys. Uh, slide the uh, slide serrations on the sides on the front and the back they're a little bit different they're a little bit deeper in the front so you can really get a good grip on that as well as in the back here uh, just angled perfectly fit um, it's going to be a great firearm to have in your collection um, and that pretty much I mean that that pretty much covers it we'll show here I'll show you what the uh, the break is oh um one before that we do have the cocking indicator on the back, so it's a little plunger, lets you know when the firearm is cocked. Uh, and there's a loaded chamber indicator on the top here. So for the trigger, it breaks really nice. I'll just do that. Nice. And the reset is really crisp and short. So then you can really get up onto the next shot um, very quickly. So for the compensator, um, Let's take a look at it and we'll show you the design of the barrel underneath it. Now to show you how the comp is designed for this barrel. So to we have to take it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it back just a little bit, pull it on the takedown lever, pull the trigger, push it forward just a bit and lift straight up. It's that easy. One of the best systems I think out there. We'll take out the spring. And then all we have to do is just push up on the barrel a little bit. Sometimes it can be stuck. That's how, just how well it fits together. So then we take our punched out tool and there's a little indent on the front of the compensator here. So we just push that down and then we spin it towards us. And then we spin, spin, spin until it comes out. It kind of pops out a little bit right where the uh, port on the barrel starts. So we just take it off. Now looking at the barrel here, it's like a square, it's squared off with rounded corners here. It's a really interesting design. It's got teeth on the sides too. So it's, it's not even like a, a, a spiral cut. It really is almost just like a press fit kind of uh, deal here with a key lock with like a little key indent there. And to put it back on would be the same way. It's just the reverse of putting the barrel in. Taking your comp, making sure that little indent section here is right around where the uh, port starts. And then you just push it down, spin, and it locks into place. It's really cool seeing some manufacturers do uh, really easy uh, takedowns like that when there is a compensator uh, attached to the barrel, like built into it. If I can line this up properly now. Oh, there we go. Now, I want to take a look at the custom design holster for this thing. It's got the TTI labeling on here, uh, and some of the guys might notice a few of the features. So first off, it's got this little tension nut here, so you can depend on how much pressure it's going to take to pull 
the firearm out of here, uh, as well as these little adjustments. So depending on uh, the width of your belt, you can uh, set these screws, take them off, whatever you need to do to make sure that's going to fit your, uh, the belt that you're wearing every day. And then the firearm itself, some of these is just slides right in there, nice and smooth, just like that, if you're gonna carry this thing around. Uh, but what I, I really can appreciate from the molding of this and the design of this is the fact that they actually have different indents of where the different parts of the firearm are. So the front side, uh, slide serrations, the trigger, the accessory rail. So when you have your hand on the holster and you can kind of feel where the trigger is. You can have it in the ready position. Not that saying that everyone is going to be like that, but you can have it in the ready position if you need to do a quick draw of it or move it up if you know that you're, um, if you're trying to get that trigger discipline here when uh, learning how to use a holster. So overall, I think this was a great design, a great team up with Terrence Tactical and Canik. Uh, this, they just really knocked it out of the park with the design and the features and the controls that come with this. I'm really excited to see what else Canon comes out with, especially with their quick detach compensator design here uh, and what other firearms they bring that to. Um, I, I really think this is a package that is worth it, especially if you're going to get one firearm. This would be great. It comes with so many things, you know, your two magazines. Um, your cleaning implements, uh, optic ready if you want that, uh, and everything else that come, you know, that maybe other manufacturers aren't putting in with their firearms, especially optic plates. That's one big thing. I think that's one of the biggest advantages with this package. So, and all, and a lot of canics. So, thanks for watching, everybody. If you are interested in it, learning more about this, make sure you head over to our website. Uh, drop a comment down below if you like this. Uh, firearm, if you like Canic, if you like TTI in general. Uh, we really want to know if there's other videos that you want us to do. If you have any questions or stuff like that, drop them down there. We'll try to answer whatever we can. Um, and then make sure to follow all of our social media channels on Facebook, X, uh, aka Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Rumble. Rumble is kind of like YouTube. They just are um, allow more videos for firearms and stuff like that. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.